So Fusion here, back another video. Um, Christmas coming up Sunday, and I want to actually uh, make some predictions on who's going to win these Christmas basketball games. Um, there's going to be a few good games on, I feel like. Um, I think that this one is probably going to be... Uh, maybe these two might be the least interesting. I don't really care about the Suns. I, I think that the Suns are probably the most boring and and uh, no, boring isn't the right word. Uh, annoying teams. Uh, they think they're so much better than they are. Um, having Cameron Payne on there and he's always talking shit and he's sort of trash. Um, but I think I got the Sun still beating these Nets. Um, I think that they're just a better overall team. Um, I have the 76ers killing the Knicks. I still don't think that the Knicks have enough. And I think, um, man, James Harden, he's still nasty. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's those quick ones out the way. These three are really what I want to talk about here. The Bucks and Celtics. Warriors and Grizz, Lakers and Mavs. Um, I'm a huge Lakers fan. I've been a Lakers fan for I don't know how long. If you've checked out my catalog, I, I talk about the Lakers all the time. I, I keep the Lakers honest. Um, you know, we've been hooping okay. I think, again, like we're missing maybe one or two key pieces. Uh, we still need a consistent shooter. Um, Lonnie Walker can't hit a three to save his life. Um, Russ, he's playing better off the bench. Now, I do wish he um, would make better shot like selections sometimes. But other than that, you know, also, Anthony Davis is hurt again. Um, his foot, I think he'll be out for like the rest of the month. Um, hopefully we'll get him back pretty soon here, but, um, LeBron's been hooping, but I still don't think we're going to beat the Mavs. Uh, that Luca is just too, too nasty. He has carried, carried this team on multiple occasions when, when I felt like that they would lose. Um, all they really need is Spencer Dinwiddie to show up just like he did against, um, the, the, the Suns during the playoffs. Um, so I think I got the Mavs winning because I just don't have confidence in these Lakers. They're so unpredictable. Sometimes they'll play great. Sometimes they'll play defense. Sometimes they will hustle. And sometimes they'll just act like they forgot how to play basketball. So they're just too much of a wild card right now for me. So I got the Mavs winning that one. Um, Warriors Grizz, that's going to be a fun game, uh, I mean, in my opinion. Um, Steph might be back, but they had Jordan Poole there, and he's he's been hooping lately. He has a great um, basketball IQ. He has a great bag. Again, he does like remind me of Jamal Crawford, um, just on his just on his like dribbling ability as well as the uh, ability like to get to the basket and, and make it look stupid. Um, but man, that John Morant, you know, and, uh, Desmond Bain, just that Grizzlies team is a fun team to watch. And I think that they got that again, they got that dog in them. They have a very, um, it sort of does like remind me of the Zach, Randolph and the uh, Mark Gasol, Tony Allen, um, Tayshawn Prince Grizzlies, but in a sort of different way, if, if that makes sense. They're not going to wear you down with their weight and their big men and their scrappiness, but they're going to wear you down mentally because they will have fun. And once they start winning, then they're going to let you know that they're going to start winning with that dancing and that talking shit and, and just all of that. So, um, I think I still got the warriors. If, uh, Steph is in, if not, uh, then I do have the Grizzlies winning. 
Um, yeah, but I think I'm gonna go with the Warriors overall. I just think that Clay Thompson is due for he's due for a, a few games of like going crazy. Um, I think he's only had maybe two or three this season, so I'm sure on on Christmas he gonna go nuts. Um, yeah, I like that Warriors. Uh, Bucks and Celtics, they had a great um, series in the playoffs last year. Uh, the Celtics came out on top, but they've actually been trolling these past few days. I mean, past few games. Um, Giannis, he just had a 40-point game uh, not too long ago. Um, but I'm wondering, with the defense that the Celtics do have, both of their "Quote unquote star players play great defense, and they'll and, and they can score. Uh, so they play both sides of the ball great. Um, Giannis does that as well, but I'm wondering if if like the Bucks have enough because uh, this Celtics team will again wear you down. Uh, they have a lot of talent. Uh, they have a lot of sleeper talent as well. So they'll randomly have someone who can." get you 12 to 14 and and you won't even expect that so uh, I'm going with the Celtics but it it could easily be the Bucks but I think at the end of the day I'm going Celtics so um, just to go ahead and um, recap here 76ers Mavs Celtics Warriors and the Suns uh, but tell me what you guys think, um, who you got winning, who you got losing, and what do you guys think about the season so far? I think it's been interesting. I think it's been more fun to watch as far as, um, you know, sometimes during like the regular season, it can be a tough time like to watch watch them all because I feel like they really don't put forth effort every single game. But I think that they've been hooping, man, and it's just been good basketball. Uh, but like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.